This is the first video in the process of defining, designing, and creating a simple database using DB Browser and Python. The aim of the whole project is to build a very simple relational database and two SQL statements, a select and an insert. In the first step, I'm going to look at normalizing a database that relates actors to films where there is repeated data. Let's start off with an actor. An actor appears in a film. An actor hopes to appear in several or many films. A film has an actor in it. A film usually has several actors in it. So how do we represent that relationship where an actor takes part in many films and a film has several actors in it in a more abstract way? We can represent the actor by a box and the film by a box. And these are pictures that represent entities. If an actor is in many films, we can use the usual crow's foot diagram. If a film contains several actors, then the crow's foot is round the other way. One film contains several actors. Combining those two together into an entity relationship diagram, you can see an actor appears in several films and a film has several actors. Come back to that diagram a bit later on after we look at the problems that can arise. Let's look at a simple table where the actor is on the left and the films that actor appears in are on the right. Now this is just a simple table of three actors and a few of the films they've appeared in. So Sandra Bullock has appeared in Speed, While You Were Sleeping, A Time to Kill, Practical Magic and many other films. Katrina Kaif has appeared in Sakaar, Alari Pidugu and Namaste London. Takahiro Hira has appeared in The Floating Castle, Bushido and The Fighter Pilot. If you notice that for each actor, the attributes of the film therein has been repeated and the appearance of a repeated attribute within a table is a problem area. We notice that Sandra Bullock appeared in speed and Keanu Reeves also appeared in speed. So that's fine, you can find out what films these three actors appear in by just looking at the table. But if you want to find out which actors appeared in speed, you'd have to look down the right column and look at every single film, see which ones contain speed, and then look across to the actor. Not so long in this case, but imagine you had a table with thousands of actors and thousands of films in. It would take you a long time to find all the films and then go back and find the actors that appeared in those films. Let's look again at the entity relationship diagram that corresponds to this situation. We have a crow's foot on both the actor entity and the film entity. So this is a many to many relationship. In this circumstance, you put another entity in between the actor and the film, and it's normally called the name of one entity dash the name of the other. So this entity in the middle is actor film. 
How do we use it? From the actor, we put a one to many relationship to actor film. From film, we put a one to many relationship to actor film. The question is, has this preserved the relationship in the original entity relationship diagram that only contained the actor and the film? Well, if you look at the relationship from actor to actor film, actor is in many actor films and each actor film corresponds to a film. So the actor appears in many films. And similarly, the film contains many actors. And this process has helped normalize the data which we'll see in its effect on the tables and the variables or values that are contained within those tables.